Today I'm going to show you guys how to hand feed a bird. Um, we're going to be feeding a baby macaw. This is what I put in the baby formula. So we do peanut butter. I know some may disagree with peanut butter, but I've used peanut butter for over 30 years and have never had a problem. Give them a little bit of Gerber baby food. Today is squash. Uh, AV Tech coconut oil and a scoop of AV Gain and then I do the um, exact hand feeding formula. So right now I have a bowl of hot water. Um, it's currently about 140 degrees uh, which is obviously way too hot to feed a bird. You want the temperature to be uh, no more than I feed around 108 and I don't let it get any colder than um, 100 too hot you will burn the baby's crop um, and it burns from the inside to the inside out so you won't know for a couple of days that you've burnt the crop and you could cause major, uh, major infection if not um, Infection the bird may need surgery to um, to repair the crop so We'll melt let that melt A scoop of peanut butter High synth macaws need a lot of fat extra fat in their diet So this is one of the reasons for using peanut butter Sometimes I'll use coconut milk as well. Uh, I try to switch it up to keep them comfortable. I mean to uh, try to switch it up so they're not eating the same exact thing every single day. Uh, you could use coconut milk as your, as your base uh, instead of water. Uh, baby food. This gets them used to the flavor of different uh, fruits and vegetables and as I'm adding all of this stuff the form the water is cooling down so what I'll what I'll do is once I mix the formula I will add cool water to it check it with the thermometer and make sure it's the proper temperature. Okay, and then a scoop of AV gain. This is great for uh, digestion. It add, there's probiotics in it. There's a little extra fat. Um, an amazing product. Mix this in. And I use exact hand feeding formula. I'm going to, I have a big gallon, a big 18 pound bucket down here, so you won't see me for a minute. So that's what it looks like right now. You mix it up. You wanna make sure all the lump, lumps are out. The food may be cool enough, but if you have a little lump, like, for instance, this one, it could be what's called a hot pocket. And you could shoot that into the bird's crop and burn the crop. So you really want to make sure it's, it's mixed very well. Now I know pretty much how much to make um, based on the birds I'm feeding. My syringes that I feed with are kept in apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is a great um, sterilizer and I keep it in the refrigerator to prevent fruit flies. 
I will be back in one second. I'm going to get my, uh, cool this off and get my syringes. Forgot to mention, um, well, we're now ready to feed. Formula is the proper temperature. The younger the bird, the thinner the formula. And as the bird gets older, you thicken the formula up. So this is a perfect consistency for the bird we're, the birds we're going to feed today. You always want to use a new syringe for each bird. You don't want to um, contaminate. Also, if you're feeding smaller birds, I use these syringes and I put a different tip on each one. Each time I feed, I take the tip off and put a new tip on. I'm gonna feed a Catalina macaw. Um, she is almost at the weaning. She's almost ready to wean. So she may eat, she may not eat. But I have a baby eclectus that will definitely eat. And Rocky's in. We got this love bird and Rocky. Um, kind of took a lot of from one another. And now they're cage mates. So, Catalina McCaw, when you feed, you want to first feel their crop to make sure there's nothing in there. You don't want to feed on a, a full crop, especially the first feeding of the day. Their crop should empty once a day. She's hungry. So, you angle the syringe to your left, which is their right. If you angle it this way, it's going to go into their lungs and they'll aspirate. So, here we go. All right. And she does not want to eat. Nope. I let them, I let the bird tell me when they're ready to wean. I never force feed them. I'll try a couple times. If they don't want to eat, then I just, we try again later on. Okay, we're going to hand feed a baby male eclectus. He takes about 20 cc's of formula. I'm going to use my tip on this one. Twists on. Again, the bird's right, my left. The bird should start bobbing. As long as you see that tongue going, you know they're swallowing their food. Okay, now I don't want to stick this back in to the formula because it was already in. So, take it. Well, you saw I took it off and now I will put it back on. There's a hungry little one today. Oops. Sorry, baby. You want to feel that crop? Make sure it's not too full. And then always clean out the inside of their mouth. You don't want formula sitting inside. They can end up with thrush or candida. Um, any kind of fungal infection. That's 
So that's how we hand feed baby birds here at Winged Aviary.